so we're doing all sets of 15 inclined dumbbell press. Start off with push. So 20 reps of chest flies, cable chest flies, and we're supersetting this with 20 reps of dips, assisted dips. I know I said I was going to do uh, assisted dips, but I'm way too heavy. Uh, I was supposed to hit 20 reps. I could not do 20 reps in assisted dips, so I just went on to the machine and did 20 reps. So we finished off chest, now we're doing shoulders. So we're going to start off with one arm shoulder press, super set with uh, spin machine shrugs. We're going to get, we're going to try to get 10 reps each exercise. Um, so I did my first set of one arm dumbbell press and I don't know why but I felt like I felt I was cramping up a lot my lower back my upper back my shoulders and it's my fault because I didn't warm up properly so that's that's all on me so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna switch to just normal dumbbell press instead of one arm I'll just do two arms now we're moving on to side lateral raise superset with Arnold press. So we're going to do 15 reps of side raises, side lateral raise, superset with dumbbell Arnold press. So we just finished off with shoulders. Um, now we're heading off to triceps. We are doing five sets rope tricep extension superset with overhead extension. So we just finished up our push workout and now I'm back home and I've noticed that I started cramping up a lot during training. This might be because I didn't warm up enough, which is my fault. And also what I did different today is I actually had calories in me before I started training. So what I usually do is I fast or as referred to as IF, intermittent fasting. Now intermittent fasting, it's not magic. It doesn't help it's it's not it doesn't do much it's just a tool that you use for convenience for example I like I don't like cooking in the morning as soon as I wake up I don't want to be cooking so I just I usually fast till about 1 2 p.m. and then I have my first meal so I used to train fasted every morning so I like training around 11 12 a.m. And then having my first meal as soon as I finish training um, around 2 3 p.m. But the later I train, the more calories I need in my system because meal timing it doesn't play a huge factor in body composition, but it plays a huge factor in gym performance. For example, if I've had a bunch of calories in me before training, I feel better, I have a better pump, I might be a little bit stronger, more hydrated, and I miss that. I miss 
getting the pump because when you fast it you don't have you have a pump but you don't have much of a pump because there's no carbs in you there's no calories in you to give you that muscle pump so i'm going to start breaking big meals into smaller meals to see how it affects me because for a long time i used to eat one or two big giant meals in a day and that worked for me but i just want to try something different i want to see what would happen if i bring in meal frequency back in again breaking two big meals into maybe four or five smaller meals it'll be easier for me because sometimes i just don't feel like eating the food that i have to eat even when i'm cutting it's a huge amount of food that you have to eat on a plant-based diet to reach your caloric needs and breaking them down into smaller meals will help me a lot so that's what i'm going to start doing i'm going to start introducing smaller meals into my diet so that's it that's all i wanted to say i'm not going to be training fasted anymore i'm going to be eating before my workouts hydrated calories pump and that's it i'm going to see how my body reacts to smaller meals and you guys will see as well how i will change how my gym performance is as i bring in this change so that's it i'm going to make myself a protein shake and then go to bed because i am dead